You see the title, bro. I'm not going to waste time to get into it, man. Bro, this stupid ass window, man. I believe, we exist in a, I believe we exist in a multiverse of universes. This is a famous quote from Michio Kaku. Yeah, I have no. Who? Oh! No idea who this guy is. I just thought uh, it would be yeah, sound know. profound if I put a quote at the start of the video. Okay, so apparently he's just like a Asian Einstein or something. And electrons have waves associated with them. Anyways, in this video, I wanted to talk about the Marvel multiverse. Everyone already knows that there's different realities in the Marvel Universe. I mean, just take a look at Spider-Man, for example. We got Black Spider-Man. We got Mexican Spider-Man from the future. We got White Spider-Man. We got White Spider-Man. Fuck that. The, the... We got White Spider-Man. The, the original White Spider-Man is better. All from different realities. And these timelines, you know, they're cool and all, but what about the ones that are bad? I'm talking about the ones from the comics. <laughs> Now let's see what's to Taking it. Taking it off is the original Ultimate Universe, which doesn't exist anymore because it merged with the mainline universe. AKA the sales weren't doing so hot, so they wanted to pick and choose the successful characters and move yeah. them on to the mainline universe. <coughs> Miles Morales. Anyways, uh, essentially- I don't know who the fuck asked for a black Spider-Man. I believe the Ultimate Universe was a- Who the fuck even asked for two more Spider-Mans, bro? Just let Tommy McGuire do his thing. If he's getting old, just dead dead. I ain't I can't even say nothing because people be saying that the original the old the previous Batman is better than the previous one from the previous one's better. I don't even know. For me, I like Tommy Mubarak. The new niggas nah. A, a different reality that was almost like a mirror of the mainline Marvel universe. Mm. It launched in the early two thousands and it was supposed to be like a, a modern reimagining of the Marvel universe to draw in new readers. It was pretty popular at its time. But unfortunately, a series of shitty writing just killed off any interest for this universe. I'm of course talking about Ultimatum, which is possibly one of the worst Marvel comic storylines ever written. This storyline is so unnecessarily edgy, and it just like, just kills basically every fan favorite character that anyone would ever have. A bunch of heroes <laughs> die because of natural disasters. Doctor Strange gets strangled by his own cloak. Dormammu? I've come to bargain. Huh? The ruler of the dark realm. Giant man goes searching for his wife, Wasp, only to find her dead corpse getting oh eaten by God. the blob. They are all very distressed upon seeing this, so, you know, Blob, in all his infinite wisdom, decides to try and defuse the situation by saying, tastes like chicken. Oh, hell. <laughs> so Giant Man decides to calmly respond by grabbing the blob and taking a chunk out of him with- Nigga, why? He could just take him, chuck his stupid ass into the air. He dies or like, if he's, if he's that strong, try to chuck him straight into the sun. Like simply, or just no money kill the goofball. Why are you eating him? His mouth. You know, typical, uh, typical comic book shenanigans. And then Magneto decides to become a genocidal maniac because his children died. Which is pretty ironic considering most iterations of his character he's held in a World War II concentration camp. This dude Magneto straight up strapped bomb vests to a guy who could duplicate himself. Then Magneto finds out that mutants only exist because they botched a super soldier experiment instead of being an evolutionary step up from humans. Mm. Upon learning that fact, his brain figuratively explodes as he's left there awestruck. And then his head literally explodes when Cyclops hits him with that left mouse click. Then Cyclops gets shot by a mysterious assassin who actually turned out to be Quicksilver. His supposed death that kickstarted the beginning of the story actually never happened. Bruh. He then ah. grabs his father's helmet and does a fucking Kylo Ren Darth Vader where he's like, I will continue your dream. Gay. Wow, what an amazing story, guys. But don't worry, guys, it gets better. Did you know that the famous sibling duo Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver? They fucking. I haven't heard nothing. I know he's finna say they fucking. Regularly engage in incest? What the fuck did I just say?
Bro, y'all American niggas and incest, man. <sighs> Shit, it's not even, bro. How do I put this? Man, y'all white boys with these incest, man. Sweet home Alabama. During the golden ages of like the the sword times or like the times of the kings and knights, this and that, there was incest. Nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, man. It's like all oh, this. It's like, bro. I don't know, maybe because I, I, I don't really be checking out like uh, stories from Africa, but I'm sure there's some incest type of things. But damn, man. Damn, man. There's so many. Bro. There's other females you can literally fuck. This goofballs literally be having chances with females that are beautiful or whatever. Literally have all the proportions that these goofballs prefer or whatever. But nah, I want to fuck my sister. You don't get it, Mr. Rogers, do you? They love each other. Of course they do. They're brother and sister. No, it's more than that. They're in love. But they're brother and sister. But don't worry, guys, it gets even better because Wolverine likes to watch. I'm over here stroking my dick. Moving on to the noir universe, <laughs> set in the 1930s. You know how, uh, you know how Uncle Ben dying is a canon event in every universe? Mm. Well, in this one, you know, instead of getting shot by a mugger, he, uh, he actually gets eaten alive by a cannibal version of the vulture. What the fuck? Oh yeah, also the X-Men are a group of powerless sociopathic criminals. What the fuck? What the fuck? You know how in X-Men lore, mutants are regarded as an evolutionary step up from humans? Mm. Well, in the noir universe, sociopathic people are seen as the step up in the evolution of humans, according to this version of Professor X. And in case you guys couldn't get enough of incest and cannibalism... Oh, bro, bro, bro. Bro, do not... Oh, man. Do not tell me more, man. We have the Hulk from the Old Man Logan universe. Oh! The Hulk in this universe is basically a hillbilly crime lord who runs a gang of inbred children that he had with his cousin, She-Hulk. And he eats people. Yay! We, why do all these universes share the same, like why, what the fuck? So basically in this universe, all the heroes are either dead or in hiding because the villains had the bright idea to actually work together for a change instead of constantly backstabbing each other. And you know what? It worked out for them because they finally won. Gee, why didn't they think of that sooner? Also, Wolverine kills all of the X-Men because Mysterio pulls an epic prank on him and makes him think that they're all villains. <laughs> and after that traumatic experience, he vows to never pop his claws ever again until he pops his claws again. Bruh. Guys, look, Venom T-Rex. Isn't that, that's so cool. I love this universe. Ah. Next up, we have the Ruins universe, which is actually probably the worst one on here. In this universe, Ow. anything that would have given you powers instead gives you a terrible deformity or just straight up kills you. The storyline follows a reporter who is capturing and documenting all of these strange anomalies. His name is Sheldon, by the way. He's basically trying to figure out where it all went wrong. The Avengers were a rebel group that got destroyed by the government after getting sold out by their teammate Scarlet Witch. Mm. The Kree, who are an alien race in the Marvel Universe, were bombarded by nuclear warheads, effectively killing most of them. The survivors were then put into concentration camps in the US, slowly dying of radiation poisoning. Silver Surfer went crazy, he went stupid, and he basically ripped himself apart because he thought he couldn't breathe in space. Nick Fury is an ex-government agent who went insane. He agrees to meet with Sheldon, and he's like, I've seen a lot of shit, man. You wouldn't believe the bruh moments I've seen. He also claims that he was introduced to cannibalism by Captain America, and that he's been clean since. Wow, guys, another universe, another cannibal. You know, I'm starting to notice a pattern here with all these different timelines. I would say take a shot every time a cannibal is mentioned in these alternate realities, but at this rate you probably wouldn't survive to see tomorrow. The two men then get interrupted by Jean Grey, who in this universe is trying to pimp herself out for $20, to which Nick Fury calmly responds by GTAing her. Hey baby, you looking for a date? No thanks, gorgeous. I'm happily married. And then he offs himself after. Also, the president of the United States in this universe is Professor X and he sends all of the mutants into a special prison in Texas. In this prison, you can find all of your favorite X-Men, 
including Kitty Pride, who died trying to phase through her cell, and Cyclops, who was blinded in this universe, so he can't shoot beams anymore, mm. Nightcrawler, but instead of teleporting, he's eating himself, and who could forget about Quicksilver? Except they cut off all his limbs, so he looks like this now. And you're probably wondering, where is Wolverine? Great question. Well, you see he's, uh, slowly getting poisoned by the metal in his body. Why did they write this? You know, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you. Remember how in the mainline Marvel Universe, the gamma radiation turned Bruce Banner into the Hulk? Mm. Well, in this universe, it turned him into a giant mass of tumors. Oh yeah, did Ooh. I mention that Peter Parker is Sheldon's co-worker? And he looks like this because he's suffering from the effects of the radioactive spider bite, slowly dying and succumbing to a highly infectious rash that's developing all over his body. The very same highly mm. infectious rash that spread to Sheldon, and uh, yeah, he's dead. So, yeah, what a <laughs> what a great story this is. And I know all the Galactus fans out there, all five of them, are wondering, you know, wh where's Galactus in all of this? Mm. Well, he's dead. He's just floating in space. His, his fucking dead body is floating near Mars. Yeah, so those are some... Okay, I, I don't know how to, to explain this or how to put it. I don't know, like, uh, like uh, it happens that space travel, space travel is like possible. So every time you fly from outer planets to Earth and to from Earth to outer planets, you just, like, just think about it. You always see a fucking large ass dead nigga, just a dead ass nigga, just floating in space. <laughs> Some pretty amazing alternate timelines in the Marvel multiverse. I'd highly recommend never reading any of these storylines. But you know what I yeah. would recommend? Subscribing to my second channel. Over there, I'm going to be posting pack openings and maybe even gameplays. If we could hit 1,000 subscribers on the other channel, I will be the happiest man in the multiverse. <laughs> but it does I feel as if he's still gonna be It doesn't matter even if he like he gets to oh whatever. He says he's finna be happy. He finna continue speaking like if this. If we can hit one thousand subscribers on the other channel, I will be the happiest man in the multiverse. <sighs> Monotone dudes, man. I'm gonna see our next video, bro. I'm so happy right now. Yay. Call me Master Zangas, I'm a flippy bass.